YouTubers Brian Proctor back again and today I am doing a review on this. So this is Koala t-shirt transfer paper and uh, I did a video uh, not too long ago on how to sell your comic books at a convention and one of the ideas I said was to buy you some transfer paper and do your own character. This is not my character, this is a Spider-Man in contrast to everything that I'm saying. But to do your own character and then put it on a t-shirt and then walk around, not just in the conventions, but everywhere, in school, in the mall, to get interest in your character. Now, I bought this so that I could do a couple of my characters, or I'm gonna do t-shirts regardless. So I bought this just to see how good it was, so I'm doing a review on it now. Now let me show you a couple shirts that I printed out already. Now this is one, and you may have seen this in one of my, my old videos that I did, and I'll show you the whole picture, if you can see the whole picture. And uh, this one I had not washed yet. This is the thing that I'm trying to show you. And if I could get close, you can see how smooth the printing is, if this is in focus or not. Now, as I said, I did not wash this one, but I, you know, my fear was what happens when you wash one of these shirts. So I did wash this one. I washed it in warm water and put it with um, uh, the, what do you call it, uh, soap powder. And I put it in a warm dryer, a hot dryer. So this is the whole picture. And the only thing that happened with this is, if I can show you, like, check out the arm. It, it didn't crack or fade. It just kind of uh conform more to the t-shirt it's a lot softer now so i guess when you wear it it will um be more forming to your your body versus this one which is as it kind of feels like you have a plastic piece on your shirt on your yeah on your shirt you're walking around so that is the only thing that that um that i see that when you wash it it does, it gets softer. It is softer now, and it's more, as I said, it's more adhered to me, to the t-shirt, than when you first put it on. And it's pretty simple, because this one is a dark, um, putting on dark fabric. And the thing about this one versus putting on a white t-shirt is, you don't have to print it out in reverse. And this thing, it gives you 25 sheets, Plus the sheet you have to iron it on. You basically you print it out and you put it. Um, you have to peel off the back and then put it down and then put the hot iron on top of the picture itself. But it gives you a, uh, the paper to put on top of the picture to iron it. And you cannot use a steam iron. You cannot. Um, yeah, and you no know, steam, no moisture, just a hot iron. You know, and this this is pretty good for doing shirts, as I say. In contrast, but it's a good way to show off your characters. Once you get your characters together. It's a good way for advertising. Put it on your shirt, your hoodies, uh, whatever, and just walk around and get some interest in your characters and then tell people you have a book. But So just imagine you're walking around the mall with your t-shirt on and somebody stops you and say, hey man, that is a nice shirt. I like that. Where did you buy that? You say, oh, I made this. This is my character. I do comic books. I draw. I'm an artist, blah, blah, blah. So that is great advertisement for you. And the reason I did wear this Spider-Man shirt versus one of my own shirts is to basically kind of compare the two. I mean, this is professional. This was like a Walmart thing that I bought. I don't remember how much it costs, but it's, you know, when you buy from a store, it's, oh, it's professional. This you know, to me, it looks professional too, other than the way that they cut out, you know, the different shapes. And, you know, you can do this with this paper as well. But this was just the whole picture I printed out and put on there. And if I told you, oh, you know, I bought this at Walmart, you'd say, oh, it's professional. You would swear it's professional. So the paper is a very good paper. And let me just show you because this just is a added piece to the review that I did after the whole review because I never really showed you what you get inside the package. And the paper is like this. It's just a paper. And you put this in your printer. And um, I don't think it has to be a laser jet printer. It's just to, to, to uh, give you this piece, this plastic piece that you put over the paper to iron it and should I just like cut the video just to get a piece of paper out no. 
All right, I'll just take a bunch of them out. And this is the paper. This is the back of it. This is the front, so you don't print on the back. And it, it's, I don't know, it feels, it doesn't feel plastic. It feels like a plastic rubber, if that makes sense. And you just put this part in, into your printer, print your picture on here. You lay it down like this on your paper. You have to peel it, actually. is peel this part off. You peel this part off. Lay it down on your T-shirt. Take the paper that they give you to cover it with, and then you just iron it. And don't iron it on a ironing board. You need to iron it on something hard because you have to press down with the iron and continue to move it about two or three minutes. So an ironing board would not, it would be too soft. It will, it would bowl the, the, the shirt, the, the, the paper up. So you want to do something hard like a floor or a table, something like that. And um, I think that was the last thing I wanted to say about, about this. I said I'd leave a link. So yeah, just go out. 25 sheets, get your characters, print it out, walk around with it, show off to the world. We'll get more into advertising your stuff later, but right now I just wanted to give a, a quick review to this. And I will leave the Koala, I don't know if I haven't said the name, it's Koala uh, T-shirt transfer paper, dark. And I will leave the link uh, to where you can get this. And I got this off Amazon, I wanna say $25, $28, don't quote me, it might have went up, I might be wrong. But I will leave a link to this. And like I say, this is it is pretty good for not just your characters, but any kind of design that you might have. Now, these are not my characters, but uh, I like playing around with um, the Marvel and DC Universe and the Toons verse. as well so I have a lot of those I'll, I'll print some of those out and maybe one day even make um, t-shirts available and I said this is my character uh, this is the samurai clown and people that are afraid of clowns is like get that clown out of my face get it out of my face so yeah that's about it for this review as I said I'll leave a link to it and it, it is is I'm satisfied with it put it that way I'm satisfied with it so guys go out get it start printing your t-shirts up I put this on me so that you see. Yeah, I'm wearing my character now. Print your T-shirts up. Go out, show the world what you can do. You may get a job drawing for somebody else. You never know. Or just be able to sell some T-shirts on the side. All right, that's it for this quick review, and I will see you guys in the next video. So I am out. Trials of the Samurai Clown. Look for the book. Peace.